Matthew, we'll know when down here in Milton. How's your thoughts on the game? Thought we were fully deserving. Manish thought we created the better chances, we had more of the ball and I understand that was probably their game plan to, to sit deep and, and try and play us on the counter attack. Um, thankfully we got the goal that we needed and then we we dug in and, and we, we kept a clean sheet which we haven't done. I suppose we've we've had plenty of practice of the ball getting bombed on top of us for the last few weeks, months um, and the boys done it really well today and, and we've seen it out. Had a lot of draws this season, narrow defeats, yep. especially from winning positions. So people come ahead and beat us. I suppose it's good to get the monkey off the back. Well, yeah, of course. It's because when you think of it, you know, we're one 0 and I thought we were the better team at that stage, and then Paul gets sent off, and it flips everything, doesn't it? Because you, I suppose I said last week, we're saying to much, get up, get up, get up. But we'll live an extra body, and you know they put an extra forwards on and stuff like that. But I just thought we were in control today. I didn't, I didn't feel that nervousness of when the ball was going in the box I thought we you know Michael went back in then looked like he was playing then Reese was super Greg was brilliant the whole day long and Barney looks like a natural right back and then I felt the midfielders were getting around them um, it was, well it was Sammy and George at the end and we were winning things in the right areas and when we were clearing it we were actually getting distance um, so it, it was enabling us to get out and then Jethren claimed a couple and it just buys time you know what I mean and, and we got the luck of the bounce once or twice it bounced handball kills the game for us you know as opposed to being pinball in the box and it just enabled us to settle things down get us up the pitch and, and go up the pitch you mentioned the red card there was it a red card for you <coughs> excuse me not from my angle, no. And I was looking straight across, I thought it was a good tackle. Paul seems to think he won the ball and, and the lads kind of followed through after it. But Jamie says, no, it was 100%, it was a red card. So, you know, at the end of the day, Jamie's the ref and, and we'll take that on board. But I probably would like to see it again and hopefully it's not as bad as, as what it was made out. But, you know, Paul's disappointed in there because he knows now that's three games he's going to miss. And finally, just uh, the big one then, Monday week. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be a seller to Chamrock. You excited for that? Yeah, you know, probably there was, I know there was a couple of hundred tickets or whatever left, but that result today might inspire a few more people to, to snap them up and see that we're going to be competitive and, and turn it into a good good game. Look, it's a game I've been looking forward to for the last three and a half years. It was one of the reasons I came back, because I want to be part of big games at this club. We want to be top of the league, obviously. Um, we understand that and we want the place to be bouncing every week because of where we are in the league. But at this minute we're not because we're newly promoted and whatever else you can say but we are where we are but we can still fill the place on boxing day uh, well the, the boxing day derby the christmas derby whatever it's called in this year because we're playing on the monday and that's you know that that's gonna inspire me over the next week to make sure that the boys are ready for it thank you thank you